Tonight on Celebrity Big Brother, Colson, David, Fern, Louis and Nikita all stand a chance of being crowned champion after Bradley's shock, might I say, a little bit cruel eviction last night. The public have been voting. No. That the seventh housemate to be evicted from the Celebrity Big Brother house is you. Oh, my God! I love you all so much. I love you all so much. This is horrible. Oh, my God. No, it's fine. It's fine, yes. And Brad, you were just saying, Lauren, and Zizi are here. You've just seen Bradley, because yeah. he's on GMB this morning. He's such a lovely lad, isn't he? He's so lovely. He's, he's so such cute. a no But, you know, because last night, if you weren't watching, they were meant... They thought they were going to yeah. see someone, one of their loved ones. He thought he might even see his dog. And then, I mean, lovely as AJ is, it's the last person you want to see at that <laughs> I point. felt so bad for Bradley, because <laughs> all during the house, that was, like, his one thing that he was looking forward to. Every other day, like, as we near towards the end, he'd be like, maybe today's going to be the day that we're going to get to see, like, our friends. Because you knew that that was part of the, sort of... No, we didn't know, but because he watched the civilian one, then ah. he was like, he was. He thought he, I he know what's coming. Yeah, so he knew it was. He thought at one point yeah. it might come. So he, he, he said. Him. He said to me before. He said I didn't expect to see those heels in the garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thought it yeah. might have been it's me. Not lovely heels on this morning. <laughs> Listen, how was the experience for you, Lauren? I mean, you were, was it second out, but <laughs> was it worth going in for you? And what has your experience been like? I had the most gorgeous time. It was a lot of fun. And um, for me, I, it, it was great. Other than the fact that I felt like I was sleeping in Selfridges. <laughs> you know, we had the lights, the air conditioning. That was my one struggle. We all struggle sleeping. But yeah. I had yeah. such a great time. Um, I was just saying before, actually, when I packed the first time to go and then I came back in, the second time, unpacking and repacking was playing on my mind and I thought, you know what, I am ready to go home. Oh, right. Yeah, I was, but it, be, it, was, it was tough, you know. But that coming out bit, I mean, I know you've talked... I mean, I've seen quotes of you in, in the Metro and various other places saying, coming out is a bit brutal. That sort of interview process coming out, yeah. you found that sort of the hardest bit of the whole experience. Well, what, what happens when you're in there, you, we're sat there for a couple of hours, we don't know... You, you've been nominated, you're holding on, going, am I going, am I staying? Yeah. And it's all the emotions are playing on your head. And then also you're told to walk to a lift, come up, stand, wave. You don't know where you're going. And it, it's quite, you can hear the booing outside, <sighs> we hear the noise for like two hours before. It's quite, it, it, it's, it's, um, it's very... Well, you're anticipating. Frightening. It's fine, yeah. correct. And, and it's not something I've ever done before. No. Never walked out to an no. audience being evicted. And so... Then when I come out and to be asked questions and shown what everyone said about me, it was really hard. And, Aww. you know, I didn't think so many had voted me out. I knew there was a few, like her, but... <laughs> <laughs> you still got your friends again? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm too sure, <laughs> And you know. Zizi, what's, um, what was your relationship with Louis like? Because that got some attention, didn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Me and Louis have, like, a frenemy relationship. We get along and then sometimes we don't get along. And I think that's the beat of it. We have difference of opinions, but then, you know, we agree on things. Like, we had a really nice moment where I was talking about my gran and, yeah. you know, that brought... Like, we got... So there were so many moments that we had in that. It was just so interesting because that day, the task of the king and queen thing, I literally was just like, oh, my gosh. But when I watched it, every, it just looked so funny. And I was thinking, it, there were moments and I was just like, Louis, no, please stop. But it was... Well, it it's was... been a fantastically entertaining show. I mean, it's really captured the nation. It's a real moment. Yeah. Um, can I... What's going on or what was going on between Fern and Nikita? Because it there was a bit of a strange atmosphere between the two of them, wasn't there? And it seemed a bit strange, but I think as viewers, we didn't quite know what was causing it. I mean, Zizi was in the house, so I was watching that as a viewer, not in the house. So right, if right. I say as a viewer what I thought... Go on, then. Because I've caught up on the show also yeah. as a viewer, and I never knew that Fern cried that much because she was having quite a nice time in the house. And then when I've watched it back, she spent a lot of time with Big Brother crying. So I feel that she's played a bit of a game with Nikita and... He really just said, you look nice, Fern. And think, that was my opinion as a viewer, as living in that. I think when you're in, in the house, though, as you know, it gets so... It's the pressure sometimes. Like, we had an argument over an orange. Like, literally. <laughs> we literally had... It's so high pressure. And as the time goes on, you are really missing your friends and your family. And literally, only, someone could just say one little thing. And in the outside world, you would brush it off. But in there, 
you're constantly overthinking things, over analysing things. You also things. don't have your normal support right, thing. Right, so that's you might another go, thing. At home you feel a bit strange, I'll go for a walk, or I'll like stroke the dog, or I'll phone my friend. Like, you can't do any of that in right. Big Brother, it, so it, then you are literally just left with your feelings, aren't and you? And I think also with the age thing, you know, Louis had made a few comments as well, you know, during when we did the girl band thing, there was a few comments about, you know, even you look good for her. Like, I think those type ah. of things, as time goes on, it plays on you, and then you're kind of wondering, oh, is this what everyone thinks of oh. me in the house? So, in her defence, I do think maybe it just... In that moment, I think it just got on top of her. Yeah. And maybe it was just taken out of context. And, um, that, like, yeah, that's right. what I think happened. So, quickly, th for the finalists, who do you think... Who do you want to win and who do you think will win? Uh, well, uh, we're going to have different different opinions. I think Nikita, he's an all-round star. He's amazing at everything he does. And what he does, the, the, which is... I don't know whether you've seen it, he really is so caring. Aww. So when you were doing the dancing, okay. he was so kind. He said, look, Lauren, you're not getting the moves. <laughs> Stand behind, watch. He really okay. puts his heart and soul into everything he does. Easy, I'm saying David all the way. David, he just literally brings so much light to the the house and he's just himself like he's been himself he doesn't care what anyone thinks and so Fab. i want him to win but he's all your the best way. friend in there really, okay. isn't <laughs> he? I mean, everyone i mean um, everyone is but well, well, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. things have worked out between the two of you oh, and yeah. it, you've, been, you've provided an amazing moment of entertainment so thank you to both of you for thank agreeing you. to go in thank uh, you. and <laughs> taking the hit yeah uh, now the celebrity big brother final starts at 9 p.m tonight on itv one